Today I'm going to show you how to get some fancy dancy rule dividers on your own Discord server. So to start off you want to go to the first link in the description and you will see this paste bin. What you want to do is you want to copy this example rule and all the blank spaces in between the quotation marks. So once you do that press Control C, go back to your Discord server, then go to the top left, server settings, then roles, and you want to create a role. In this role you just want to paste in what you copied. And now we need to set the color of the role to blend in with the background to create those fancy dancy categories. So go back to the paste bin and you will see this color thing. Just copy the hashtag and the numbers in front of it. Then go back to Discord, click on custom color, and paste it into the box. Then click off of it. And this is how categories are made. Mind you, you want to go into permissions and you want to clear permissions for each one of these custom category roles because if you don't, you could have issues down the road. So once you clear the permissions, go back to display and I'm going to name the role category something like levels because I have levels on my server. So I'm going to do rank roles. That sounds a little bit better. Then I'm going to press save. Then what I need to do is I need to drag this role above the ranks because you want it to be basically all the categories are above the roles that you want in that specific category. It's a weird way to explain it, but basically just make sure it's on top of the roles you want to filter through. Then if I click save changes, then it'll lag because that's discord for you. Then if I add those roles to my account, so I need to add rank roles. Then I need to add maybe I'm level 15. So when I click on my name, you'll notice I now have rank roles as a category and I have my role and that's super cool. But this is where an issue starts to come up. If you add a new role and for example, maybe I start Carl reaction roles or something just like I showed in a tutorial, then I'm going to opt in for North America role. And you'll notice rank roles, North America, that doesn't make any sense. Well, if you add role categories or dividers, you need to do it for every single type of role so it looks good. So I'm going to go back to my roles in my server settings, and I now need to make a new role. So in this case, I need to go back to my clipboard, and I need to paste in my example role. Then I need to change the color, so I'm going to go back and paste in the color. In this case, you'll notice that I'm using Windows V to show up with that little cool menu really useful and you can turn it on it's baked into windows then when you add the color i am going to change the role name to something like uh, server settings then i'm going to press save changes once again i forgot to turn off the permissions make sure you clear permissions for this role save changes so now that i have my server settings rule i need to place it above the server settings rule but with my specific server i have you know europe na like different locations and there's pronouns but if i scroll up a little bit more i have colors you might be tempted to put colors in a specific role category and basically don't do that do not place colors for someone's name in a role category and i'll show you the reason why after I quickly set the server settings to the opt-in reaction roles. So I'm going to drag it above Europe. And as you notice, this is all sorted really well from the last time I showed you in the tutorial. I'm going to click Save Changes. And now if I wait for Discord to lag, go back to my account, add the role of server settings. Then if I click on my name, you'll notice server settings, but then there's dot, dot, dot. This is where role categories start to become a little frustrating. First off, you'll notice that my text isn't centered and there's the dot, dot, dot. Since the text is not centered and it's more shifted over to the right, I'm going to want to delete blank spaces to the left of the word to move it to the left and also remove this, the three dots. So I need to go to my server settings, go to roles, then scroll down to server settings. Then I'm going to remove the space right here, save changes. Then I'm going to go back to my role and it's been fixed and it looks good. Then I'm going to add in a color. In this case, I'm just going to react. So I'm going to add a pronoun. Then I'm going to add a color, green. As you notice, I have the owner role, so I'm just going to remove that real quick. Now you'll notice, okay, I got a green color. I have all the reaction roles or whatever. It's set up really well. So let's get on to that color thing I was talking about. Right now, I have my reaction role set to green for my color. And as you can see, my roles are green. Let's make a category for it and let's see what happens. I go to server settings. I go to roles create a new role, go to permissions, clear permissions, go to display. Then I'm going to paste in the role name with all the blank spaces using Windows V, that super fancy dancy shortcut. Then I'm going to call this color roles. Then once I name it color roles, I'm going to go to custom color. Then I am going to paste in the color of this one. There's a C at the end of it. It's kind of messed up, but just make sure you paste in the same color all the time. It should be black. 
click off of it. Then I'm going to place this roll above the colored rolls. So I'm gonna go all the way up to red, then I'm gonna click Save Changes. Then you will see the issue. If I add this roll to my actual account, so I need to add the color rolls. So you'll notice that once I added that category, my name is now black. Why is that? Well, it's because the color rolls category, the roll itself is overwriting the color of the opt-in reaction roll color rolls. Basically, you can't have a divider for your color rolls. So you need to remove it. You'll still have colors. Then what you can also do is just delete the roll itself. So you don't have to worry about that. So in that case, since it doesn't work, I'm going to delete it. So there are two things you should keep in mind when creating these role separators, and this is the reason why I don't have it on my specific server. First off, you need to make sure that one of your bots gives the separator role, so rank roles and server settings, your bots need to give all your members that. So in Dino, you need to go to auto roles, then you need to select the server settings role and add it. Then you need to go to rank roles and add it, and you need to add each one of these dividers for everyone. If you have a lot... If you have a lot of people joining your server, Dino will start to lag and it probably won't work. So I'd recommend trying to do two bots doing this. So Carlbot's actually pretty good for this, but having Dino work as well on top of each other so they don't miss anyone is a very good idea. Next up, the second issue is that if I don't have the green role, the advanced role, the North America role, or a pronoun role, you'll notice that my name is going to be black. So basically just keep in mind that new members will always have this black name, might match your server aesthetic, it might not. That's personally why I didn't include it, just because Dino could mess up the roles and then some people would have different colors and it would just be a hot mess with a whole bunch of members. So just keep that in mind. This is great for small servers, but once you start getting bigger and bigger, you need to get more bots that will make sure that no one misses out on these specific roles. So that's basically it. That's server role, divider, separator, whatever they called. I'll put it in the title, I think. That's basically how to set them up. Just keep in mind there are downsides and you need to make sure that your bots add the roles to everyone or else you'll have issues. So just keep in mind, this does come with a little bit of baggage that you'll have to deal with. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I love you. Bye bye. Mwah!